Hello again, everybody. Time to record a new podcast. So, what else has been going on? Um, okay, reflections on current events. So recently, we lost Steve Jobs. Although, we is kind of an odd term to use because I'm not, like, part of his family or something, but we, the human race, lost Steve Jobs, who... I'll grant you, was was a technological marvel and inventor, you know. He was in the same vein, at least, as Edison, uh, coming up with new inventions, remarkable things that, until we had them, most people didn't know they needed. Um, but things that did provide pretty revolutionary catalysts. I was hunting around on Google earlier, and I never heard the actual news story, but apparently AT&T bought out T-Mobile for like $39 billion or something. And I can understand why. I mean, they get immediate use of the network that they're buying and, you know, they can boost this, that, and the other thing for all their customers. They've been pissing off by not having the bandwidth or the necessary towers to accommodate everything. But I gotta wonder how many of the smaller companies are gonna survive. Because I'm actually on a plan with US Cellular. And I don't have a problem with US Cellular in general, except for the fact that I live in New York and they don't. I'm on a family plan, which means my plan is part of my parents. My parents have it where they are in Maine, but, you know, that's it. So most people, <laughs> when I give them my number and it's got a 207 area code, they're like, wait, I thought you lived in New York. Yeah, I do. Uh, and I'm really annoyed that U.S. Cellular doesn't have any of the good data phones. Because uh, it's getting to the point now where everybody is requiring a data plan so they can siphon as much money out of you as possible. And no one can afford that. No one can afford that, especially if you're job hunting, like me, like I have been, forever. Well, feels like forever. It's only been about four and a half years. Sad part is that's not an exaggeration. It's been about four and a half years. Um, so what else? Um, life as... A house cat, housewife is going pretty well, um, except for the, you know, being bored out of my mind half the time part. It's not that there isn't stuff to do here. I mean, anyone else who has, has lived the life of a housewife or a house husband or whatever you want to refer to yourself as, the, the person in the relationship who stays home the most, um, there's always stuff to clean. There's always stuff to organize. You know, if you like to cook... There's always cooking to be done. There's always meals to plan. If you have pets, there's something else to do. If you have kids, enough said. But it is possible for me to handle most of that and still be working. So I'm snacking on my cereal here. I'm hungry. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping to find something soon. Um, I still haven't spoken to my younger sister, which is surprising. Only in so far as she normally sends pictures of my nephew. Um, but ever since the day before my wedding, when she said at the last minute, okay, well, I'm not coming, I haven't heard from her. So I'm guessing she's trying to play a game of emotional chicken and wait me out so that I have to call her first to get news about Connor. And it's it's a toss up. I like I don't want to get in touch with her first because I'm the older sister and quite frankly I'm much more of a bitch than that. But I do want to know what's going on with Connor. I love the little guy. He's my nephew. And I've only met him the once, the day after he was born and I want to get to know him. But He's not my son. It's not up to me who's 
in touch with him. If that's how she wants to be, that's how she wants to be. You know, so take that view for what it is. It's either a remarkably bitchy, disinterested person or a very wise beyond their years kind of perspective and philosophy. I think it's frankly both. Um, okay, I, I, I'm going to say this up front. I am not declaring myself as part of Occupy Anything, okay? For my own reasons right now, I'm having issues with governmental agencies because it doesn't make any... Okay, to change your name on a bank account, you have to have your marriage license or divorce certificate, whatever the reason is. In my case, it's getting married. They tell me I have to have the marriage license and a government-issued ID. Well, I have those. So I go in and they go, oh, okay, so does the ID have your new name on it? And I went, well, no, I'm just starting changing everything over. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm starting with this. Oh, no, you can't do that. You have to have a photo ID to change over these kinds of things. Okay. So go online, do some research. Well, Sam helped me do some research because I had way too many other things to do. And it's it's like a friggin' house of cards, man. I can't change the stuff at the bank without a government-issued ID. In my case, a DMV, because I have a driver's license, which is valid in a different state. So I have to go and turn that in with the paperwork showing I've gotten married and changed my name at the DMV. That takes two weeks. Once I go blah, 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 they mail it to you, it's two weeks. Then I have to take that and go to the Social Security office, change my name on that. The Social Security office is clear about what they require, but for the most part, they require the same thing as the bank. Photo ID, state issued with the new name on it, and the license, showing that you got married. Okay, fine. Wait for that to come in the mail. I don't even know how long that takes. Two, three, four weeks, whatever. So now I have the new social card, let's assume. I have the new DMV card, let's assume. I have to have both of these, okay, before I'm allowed to go to the Medicaid office and explain to them I'm not getting Medicaid anymore. Because now that I'm married, I'm on someone else's policy, and that's just like a whole other shitstorm. Oy. It's just, it's, it's, it's a house of cards. It's a bullshit house of cards. That's what it is. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? I still miss my little sister Jasmine. She's off being all fashionista in Florence. And I'm still, you know, like, like with anyone talking about their younger siblings, you're proud of them as an older sibling. You're proud of them because they're off on this great experience or adventure or job opportunity or blah, 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 blah. but you're proud of them for whatever reason but in the back of your mind you're like what the hell you gotta go and make my life more difficult by going and doing that you know or in the back of your head all you can do is really kick your own ass like why didn't I have the spine to do this I can't believe my younger sibling did it first which I admit to um, regarding my other little sister, Faye. She got married first, divorced first, remarried first, and had kids first. I'm the older sister of the two of us. And from her perspective, I'm the only sibling she has. So, what the hell? You know? Ugh, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Most of my siblings I don't really talk to that much, and I don't know. Sometimes I think it's for the best, sometimes it's a toss-up because I hear things through my dad and my mom, and it's, it's a tangled web. It's all just a big tangled web. Sorry, I'm like scratching ridiculous. Every fall, I get these weird allergic responses, like either my sinuses feel like they've been trash compacted or my entire skin turns into one massive itch 
And when you have, I mean, look at me, I'm white, okay? If I have to scratch a lot because I'm itching because of allergies, I leave track marks. There, there are times I have left bloody track marks. I itch that bad. The problem is, and I know what my husband's going to say when he sees this, he's going to say, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You can't hurt yourself that way. Don't do that. Okay, here's the problem. It's not when I'm conscious. I do this in my sleep. I can't even tell you the number of summers I woke up and I had like gouge marks in my legs. Because in my sleep, I was just at my legs. Because they itch that bad. <laughs> I don't even generally get bug bites. As a kid, I did because I OD'd on sugar. Really badly, I OD'd on sugar. But that's the thing most people don't realize. Primarily, mosquitoes are attracted to high levels of glucose. So really, they're biting you because of how sweet you are. So if you have... I've told my dad this. My dad's a diabetic. I said to him, dude, you want to know a really good natural way to figure out if your sugars are running too high? You're consistently getting mosquito bites. He had to go and look the information up online to verify that I knew what I was talking about. But he came back to me and he was like, you're right. There have been days where I'm consistently running high, and those are the days where I get the most bug bites. That's that's just the way of nature, you know, if you pay attention. <sighs> what was I talking about? Oh my god, I am so tired. I've made four loaves of bread this week, pizza, a batch of from scratch yellow cake cupcakes, two batches of buttercream frosting, the first of which I irrevocably screwed up. I mean, the generous label for it would be that I accidentally made buttercream style icing. Got it right the second time. Got it perfect the second time. Um, so I'm debating if I want to do more baking this weekend or not, but probably not because you really ought to finish the baked goods you have in the house before you go and make more. And there aren't enough people who come by my house that I can feed <laughs> to make more room for me to have more baked goods because I have too much damn time on my hands. So Sam and I have to schedule the appointment to work on the photo album from the wedding. We actually got the proofs remarkably quick after the wedding. i got to give Sarah Marion's credit for that. Um, but I'm going to email them tonight or tomorrow. Gonna try and get more stuff done around the house. I don't know. Like I said, it's housework. It's never done. Ever. 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 But feel free to post a comment if you have any tips or leads about jobs in New York. I'm willing to travel within reason. Because the MTA sucks. But... I need to I need to find something that pays cuz this is I can't when you have the kind of work ethic I have but you have no work to do for pay it's it's like you lose a part of yourself as well as a sense of self I mean it's not like working is my entire sense of self you know there's also my love for cats my love for my husband you know my complete enjoyment of cooking those those don't give me the kind of monetary resource that lets me go out and do what I want in my free time. So, mm. meanwhile, I'm debating looking up the movie times and going and seeing something because it's been a while since I've been to a good movie by myself. All right, well, I'll talk to you all later. Hope things are going well for you.